Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. So today I've got my homestead service truck out and it's too wet to do anything with the ground right now, but it's never too wet to grease oil and fuel. So we're gonna grease this equipment using our lock and lube greaser. And I've got a couple new lock and lube attachments. I've got their 90 degree grease coupler and I've got their flex hose. So the flex hose I got off Amazon, it was $9.99 and the 90 degree adapter was $16. So first, let's check out this Quick Connect grease hose adapter. Okay, so this grease hose adapter is a lot like any flex hose. And before I started using the lock and lube, every grease fitting I used I, and grease gun I had, I had outfitted with the flex hose. But this one just has a grease zerk on the end so you can put your regular lock and lube adapter on it. And then you've got your flex hose that can go into areas that you can't get that regular nozzle into because of size. Okay, with both of these lock and lube adapters, there are no instructions that come with these. So I'll leave them open back, make sure sometimes they write them on the inside of these little things, but you can see there is nothing, no instructions with these. And I don't know if it's because they assume it's so simple that everybody knows it, or if they are looking for you to go online to find it. But if you look at this grease chuck, it spins and so it's adjustable and as you spin this out it becomes larger and or looser on the grease zerk and if you tighten it up it gets way tighter or smaller so let's take a look at that on a fitting okay here we are on this grapple and this grease zerk like i said it won't go on there with that and i've seen quite a few negative reviews on this lock and lube on these lock and lube connectors because they say they can't get them on or can't get them off so it doesn't take much if it's all the way tight it's harder to push on if you loosen it up it's much easier okay and then on this 90 degree that's the one that i've seen a lot of negative reviews about and basically if you loosen that knurled fitting up about a half turn it'll slide right on then just tighten it up and then it will hold on and grease that fitting. When you're done, loosen it back up, half turn or so, and it pops right off. If you put it all the way tight, if you push on it, you can get it on there. But then sometimes when you grease the uh, fitting, it ends up building pressure and it's harder to pull off. So again, this neural knob, I mean, it's on there for a reason. Even though they don't include it in instructions, I've seen the instructions on their videos and it works pretty slick. Okay, so I think the reason there's so many people that are willing to write negative reviews when they don't understand how to use it correctly is because a lot of the people that buy lock and lubes, they buy it because they've had trouble getting regular grease couplers on and off fittings. And with the lock and lube, that goes away entirely because as you pull that back, there's no tension on these and they'll slide right on to pretty much any coupler. And then when you release it and wiggle it, it's locked on tight. So let's check it out. So what I do is I'll put it on there and then just wiggle it a little bit and then let her grease. And once the grease comes out, you're good to go. Very little mess and very easy. So now let's take a look at why anybody would need any of these adapters anyway. I mean, after all, this fitting's pretty useful. Okay, we're gonna look up inside this hole to find a grease zerk for this cylinder. There's a grease zerk right there for that lift cylinder and there's no way that lock and lube original coupler is going to fit in there but let's check out this flex hose so i'm going to loosen this about a half turn and then kind of just doing this by feel okay it's locked on and it pops off maybe go just a little tighter because i don't want to leak that everywhere with our flex hose attached to that fitting we're now going to put our lock and lube on the end of the hose. Okay, so we've got the hose on. We've got our lock and lube connector on our grease gun on. So I'm just going to hang on to that, make sure it doesn't pop off. And we're going to start greasing. Okay, and grease is starting to flow out. So we're getting it in there. 
Okay, so that's a little bit of a difficult fitting to reach, but the lock and lube quick connect grease hose adapter made it happen. On the other side. Okay, and it's locked on. Put some grease in it. Ah, there we go. Okay, we got grease coming out of the pin, so we're set. Okay, so the lock and lube grease connector hose, I like it. Okay, now that we've looked at the grease hose, let's check out this 90 degree coupler. Okay, so if anybody remembers on our abandoned landscape tiller we found, there was one grease fitting right there that I couldn't grease. So let's see if this 90 will fit on there. I think it will. Okay, so it's on. I'm trying to stay out of your way. Okay, now that it's on, I'm going to tighten it up. Okay, so the coupler is locked on. Now we're going to attach our quick coupler. Oops. Oops. I don't get grease on you. Okay, so I'm going to unscrew that. Okay, and I'm going to actually attach our lock and lube. There's a grease fitting down inside there. I'm going to attach the lock and lube to our 90 degree before I put it on the fitting. Okay, so that's locked in. Ooh, and I'm getting grease everywhere. Get a rag. Now I'm going to take my fitting, loosen it up, and slide it over. Okay, so now with that on, I'm simply going to tighten up that knurl. Okay, and our grease fitting is now connected. All I need to do is pull the trigger on the grease gun. Okay, and it's got grease coming out around the PTO shaft. I think you can see that. So there's the grease coming out around the PTO shaft. So the lock and lube 90 did a fantastic job. And again, to get that off, you can't just pull it off. You need to loosen that knurl and then it slides right off. So let's see if I can do that and film it. There we go. So with it loosened up, it slides right off. So that's pretty nifty. And they've got a lower profile one if you need that. But I've seen a lot of reviews, including the guy from Lock and Lube himself, that demonstrates using it. And it looks like it might be pretty tough. So I'm sure if you need it, you can figure it out. But if you don't need something that tight, this one works really well. So 7.9 gallons, it's full. And that's a way easier than using gas cans. So if you like our Homestead equipment fuel trailer, give us a thumbs up. All right, so as I continue fueling equipment and greasing things, this lock and lube 90 degree grease coupler and this quick connect grease hose adapter from lock and lube, I'll tell you what, for a $26 total investment, I was able to grease three different grease fittings that honestly, this one, the one I used for this one was ungreasable before. Now, you could always take that grease zerk out and put a 90 in there and probably get to it. But those bobcat fittings, I tried lifting the arms and doing all kinds of stuff without a hose. There's no way to grease that. So this hose came in real handy for that. And on top of that, what I have done in the past too was have a whole different grease gun set up with like a flex hose and a standard coupler. Well, having this with the grease zerk on the end that you can still just use one grease gun to grease all of your needs. I'll tell you what, I don't think you can beat it. So if you like this content, give us a thumbs up. It definitely helps the channel. And we invite you to subscribe to see more. Have a great day and be safe. 
these lock and lube accessories, along with our grease gun with our lock and lube adapter, it's going to just be on this service trailer. And I think it's a great addition.